I'll start with the um, the day one executive order, which I guess feels like old news now from <laughs> January 20th, but deferred and forced departure for Liberians was extended through June 20th, 2022, and also employment authorization for, for Liberians um, as long as uh, the person was in the US as of January 10th of this year. So that was a day one executive order. Um, on Wednesday of this week, the rule that would have revoked H4 EADs was withdrawn from OMB, which makes sense given that the Biden administration um, has already committed in the legislation that it's proposing to, um, to grant H4's work authorization. It makes sense that they would um, not not proceed with the H4 EAD withdrawal rule. So that's good news. Um, also good news, um, on January 13th, the Trump administration had announced a new SEVP unit to oversee employment compliance in the OPT programs and to report on the impact on US workers, which sounded very ominous and brightening to the university community. Now SEVP says that it will not proceed with that because um, they've realized that employment compliance is already being handled by other groups within SEVP, and there's no need for a special task force to try to root out fraud that doesn't exist. Um, that last bit I just put in, I didn't really say that. But they said that, that it's already being handled uh, with other units with, within SEVP, so they, they're not going to have a special unit for that, which is good news. Um, just last night, uh, the district court in, in D.C. issued a summary judgment order um, that um, that the STEM OPT and OPT programs are valid exercises of authority under the Immigration and Nationality Act, which means that both the 12 month OPT and the STEM OPT extension programs are lawful, uh, according to the DC District Court. Now that was the WASH Tech case that some of you may have been following. It's been pending for a long, long time. They've already appealed that decision, but last night we did win summary judgment in that case and um, the Department of Homeland Security was an intervener in that case. So um, clearly uh, the, the Biden administration is in favor of um, OPT and STEM OPT continuing. And uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what the appeal looks like in that case. But for the moment, there's a summary judgment order confirming that STEM OPT and OPT are lawful exercises of authority under the INA. Just today, the Syrian uh, TPS was extended through September 2022. It's an 18 month extension and redesignation. Um, this action will affect 6,700 eligible Syrian nationals uh, to retain their TPS through September 2022. And it also will uh, allow approximately 1,800 additional people to file applications to obtain Syrian TPS. With regard to what we had hoped to be talking about today for Immigration Day, uh, we are anticipating. Um, in more information about what the January 20th executive order on DACA really means. Uh, that executive order is very brief and it says that the attorney general shall take all actions he deems appropriate consistent with applicable law to preserve and fortify DACA. We don't yet know exactly what that means in terms of changes to the DACA program or whether it will be expanded to include later arrivals to the US, but at a minimum, it certainly means that DACA will not be rescinded by the administration. And we know that the immigration and legislation that Biden is supporting would give DACA recipients green cards. So it would seem to make sense that those who are eligible for DACA should go ahead and apply for it if they haven't already, because it would probably be to their advantage to be a DACA recipient if that law passes. Um, the other thing, big issue that, that we were hoping to have more news about today was on public charge. Um, we are expecting an executive order that would direct the immediate review of public charge and other actions that would remove barriers in the legal immigration system. Um, from, a, from a regulatory perspective, the public charge rule is a rule that was published in the Federal Register. So if the administration wants to revoke it, which it seems they do, they would have to undertake um, the procedure under the APA to revoke, and which would involve notice and comment, and would take months to complete. Um, but we expect that the administration will will make that move toward revoking the public charge rule. Um, also, we expect that they will rescind the health care proclamation that required immigrant visa applicants to prove that they could obtain health insurance within 30 days of entry. 
That um, health care proclamation was previously enjoined by federal litigation, uh, but the Ninth Circuit reversed that injunction, so it was to resume effect in mid-February. I would anticipate that the administration will, will rescind the health care proclamation before that takes effect. So, uh, And that's obviously something that can be done at the executive level since it was um, an executive action. Um, but the public charge rule will take longer because it does involve notice and comment.